Alright, back to Persona 4. Namatami is still around, unfortunately. We're just kind of waiting. I think we're coming up to the point where the Nanako dungeon's done. But, oh man. Oh boy. I don't know whether I need to hang out with you or not. Oh, you're back. Go, hi. I haven't been feeling like my usual self lately. My daughter-in-law has been nagging at me to stay put. But if I don't protect this town, who will? He's gonna die. Hmm. I don't need any more bugs. I think I did that before. Let me just be on the safe side. Eh, I'll just do it now, whatever. Cool. Cool! Still the pro at it. I'm gonna go read a book. I'm gonna go read a book, but I'm gonna reload if it turns out that I need to boost now to win some form. You decide to continue reading Food Fight. It says that the essence of Chinese dining is to eat everything that is served. You do feel that if you put this advice into practice, it will toughen your body and mind. I just need diligence. And that's done. Alright, what have we got? You overhear students talking. Wow, look at these clouds. I heard the weather's gonna get worse starting tomorrow. Don't tell me the fog's gonna come back. Give me a break. One of these days, I'm gonna get hurt in the dark on my way home from cram school. Why don't I start walking you home tomorrow, senpai? Get in there. That kid really needs to start being on time. Uh, I want you all to know I'm not motivated to do anything right now. As soon as you discover something's wrong, the sorrow's just gonna stick with you. Really, don't rush into marriage. Not that young people like you would understand until after you've made the mistake. Uh, I just want a beer. Hey, oh yeah, speaking of marriage and beer, alcohol has to do with the roots of the word bridal. Do you, do you know how, Hanamoto-kun? Well, why me? Hey, wait. What was the question? Is that even in the textbook? The roots of bridal. What? Well, presumably it's bride. Again, I think it's, it would... I would assume bride ale, but I've been fooled before. It must be. That's right, Bride Ale. It seems this came about because in England, ale was drunk during festivals and merry gatherings, and you can't get through a marriage without a drink or two anyway. What does that have to do with math? Thanks, though. I wasn't listening at all. Sorry, I'm more space now. Yosuke appreciates you. Alright, is Naruto available, is the question. Or really speaking, Kanji would be better.
How are you feeling? Hmm. No, I should deal with Kanji. Never mind. Oh. Right, that's what I should do. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now O is fine. Kanji's not. Makes more sense to do this than to read a book. Mail, Kanji. Good, never mind, I tried. Okay. I am going to speak with Naoto. We will deal with Naoto, because I'm pretty certain we're near the end of her anyway. Naoto looks happy. Of course she does. Samago Floodplain. The man in black you met before is waiting for it. I am Yakushiji, secretary of the Shirogane estate. I humbly apologize for the other day. I must also apologize. Though I may not have known, I involved you in this. It was an act put on by my grandpa. My master has been terribly saddened by Naoto-sama's state of affairs lately. Lacking acquaintances to confide in, she devotes every fiber of her being to work. My master wanted Naoto-sama to regain the joy she felt in days past. To regain the feelings when all that she wanted was to be a detective, regardless of her heritage or gender. <sighs> I involved you at my own discretion, believing you to be trustworthy. Please forgive me. I received this from Yakushiji-san. It's the final challenge. The card reads as followed. I did what you can't stand to at a place you'd be fond of, but underneath rather than inside. A place I'd be fond of. Somewhere high. You remembered. Naruto is nodding cheerfully. The highest place around here is... The hill. Next, what I can't stand to do. There are several possibilities, but... Throwing things away? That's right! Did I mention that before? Naruto has an embarrassed smile on her face. Considering what's at the hill, the most likely answer is the trash can. I have an inkling of what might be there. Let's go, senpai. The hill overlooking town. It seems there was something taped to the bottom of the trash can. I forgot this thing even existed. It's the last of the seven tools. The detective's pocketbook. <sighs> All the things I had forgotten about are packed in here. I think Grandpa wanted to remind me of them. This childish game. He's selfish indeed. Forcing me to recall all this now. I was trying so hard. Not to be underestimated. Not to be condescended to. <sighs> you can't down an upset Naoto. If I solve this town's murder case, then everyone would accept me. They would acknowledge me as the fifth in the Shiragane lineage of detectives. That's what I told myself. I just wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be needed. 
That's why I fretted and stood on my tiptoes and focused only on solving the case. But the original reason I wanted to become a detective, it was because mysteries intrigued me and I could help people by solving them. That's all. I remember now. Do you recall the time I faced myself in the TV world? It was my task to accept the self who yelled, I want a reason for me to stay. But my reason to stay was not solely to solve the crime. You, everyone, gave me a reason. You gave me a place to stay. Now that's always trying to smile through her tears. I have to be an adult. I have to be a man. With that way of thinking, I was running for myself. I don't need to look for something to change or something to accomplish. I only need to have faith in myself. I finally think I can accept myself. That I'm a woman. That I haven't yet become the detective I wanted to be. I... I am a woman. And a detective. One who is seeking the truth with you and the others. You can sense Naruto's strong will. You feel your relation with Naruto has grown deeper. Can't believe I'm going to max her out before Kanji somehow. Should I know my team? Naruto Shirogani's social links reached level 9. He powers great persons of the fortune our garner has grown. Naruto's determination in battle has been enhanced. Naruto can take a mortal blow for you in battle. I'm really glad I came to this town. It's where you and I live. And all the others, too. We spent some time with Naruto and went home. Alright, I need to go back to the shrine. Unless it's raining. It's not raining. We will need to catch a fish soon. Actually, if Kanji's outside, I'll be faster. Thank you. What you doing? We'll spend the evening with Kanji seemed happy. Let's go. Wow. I went to see Cash Waggy, but something seemed weird. I mean, she warned me about the obvious stuff, but after she was done with that, she went on this thing about how buff I was. That's all it was. I went in there thinking I was going to get expelled, and it kind of caught me off guard. I wonder what that was about. She's forgiven you. Huh? Uh -huh. Is that it? <laughs> well, it seems weird to me, but I guess it's over with now. Kanji seems relieved. I mean, how come she didn't call you guys out? It's not fair that it was just me. She just wants to bang the students. You enjoyed your idle chat with Kanji. You feel the relationship with Tranka? Perfect. That's what I wanted to say. Whoa. Damn, look at the time. Sorry for keeping you out here with me. Oh yeah, you want some of this? I can't get enough of this stuff. Well, catch you later. Night. Power Kanji and go home. Perfect. That was a time saver. It's also going to rain in the evening. It's going to rain in the afternoon, even. Ooh, it's raining in the afternoon. So the best person to hang out with is probably Naoto if she's available because um, she's available during the rain. As much as I want to fish. But she's not here, so there you go. I'll probably talk to people again at some point. So the most likely thing right now is to, uh, it's probably to fish. Nothing new. Yeah. It seems that the Okina City uh, conversations don't really change much. Welcome, Crispy. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Heartbreak, heartbreak, man. It is a very good song. I wonder how 
how the old man at Died Dara learned to be such a great artist. He'd gain like a million cool points if he was self-taught. You think he'd take me as his apprentice? Boy, it's really coming down today, huh? Too bad I still have to go to work. Well, maybe we won't have as many customers and I'll be able to slack off a little. Already heard that one. I'll deal with the sports people eventually. The weather is always terrible. It's creeping me out. It'd been so nice to do the laundry in the sun again. Yeah, it doesn't seem too many. It doesn't seem as if many dialogues have been updated. You probably will when it's uh, the week before finals. Lately, it's been difficult to study at night. It's like something has chilled me to the core. You think it's because of the fog? The news has been saying that the weather has been odd recently, but the tests are so close. I can't let that stop me. I need to study. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna go fishing. Hmm, yeah, I think I think it's it's time for fishing. Let's try and catch the guardian. The beach. Hopefully I've done everything necessary to do this now. We are going to fish, yes. The Genji Beetle. Huh. I got the bus stop sign. Okay. That's cool. Alright, what do I need to know about the Guardian? Because having a weapon's pretty neat. Hopefully it's good. Persona for Gar Sea Guardian. Sea Guardian, yeah, Sea Guardian Ripples. What the hell is it talking about? The bob should be larger than normal, basically they're more white when it bobs. Compared to a normal fish, this starts on the first bob so you can tell right away. There's a bigger splash. Okay, I see. I think it might be this. There you go, I'm a legend. No, I'm not. That's a tuna. Shit. Where's the Guardian? I will continue fishing. I don't think this is it. Well, come on, you bastard. Definitely a Genji Beetle, right? Because I can't use the Inaba, so... Huh. 
<sighs> I'm guessing this is just another tuna. I'm gonna have to probably reload because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to waste days on this. Come on, where's the guardian so I can fucking max out the the fox? This ain't it. Well, it looks like I'm reloading the day, unfortunately. I might need to see a video to understand what um what ripples it's specifically talking about. All right, let's try again. Fish. This might I'm assuming this is just the bus stop again. Actually probably should have looked at that. Yeah, okay, so you always start off with the bus stop. And it doesn't count, which is good. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, let me let me watch a video so I know what kind of ripples I'm actually looking for because it's because people just uh, say ripples, yo, which means nothing to me. Visuals are better than no visuals. Oh, funny enough, this video is actually for this exact same day I'm on. That's, that's kind of weird. Oh, you can absolutely tell when it's the Guardian, 100%. 
Okay, that makes sense. That's very ob that's a very obvious tell. Shame that I gotta catch the bus stop every single time though. I hope it's not one of them where it's like the Guardian won't spawn if the bus stop is there or something stupid. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so this is the bus stop. I'm not fighting it. I always, since I know what the tell is, I'll just let this happen. No point in wasting my own time. Okay, that's not it. I'm really getting suspicious though that uh, because I have to catch the bus stop, I can't get the Guardian. Whoops, my bad. Let me just let this die. Oh, here we Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. Oh, the fact that it's random fucking chance as well is... Oh, this game is driving me insane. I need to leave. Oh, apparently I need to wait for it to grab. Ugh, I just want to go and reload my save. Actually, I think I just realized something in that moment. Okay, I don't need to reload my save at all. Oh, God. Ugh, God, I can't believe it was right there and then it fucking broke free. Ugh. <sighs> Time to try again, because I really want to get this done. I think if I just throw it in there and immediately reel it in, I can just reset what's happening without losing time or anything. It's only if it's actually caught that I lose time on. So let's go through the bus stop. But yeah, that Guardian's a bit of, is a bit of a bastard to get in. Okay, there's the bus stop. We don't care about that. Okay, that is how it works. Perfect, I'll just do this. Right, there we go. Easy. Oh my god. When it gets right near you, it just the it just suddenly like goes, haha. 
Fuck off. Like, when it gets right next to where the protagonist is, to the point where he should just, like, reach his hand in and grab the fucking fish, it's the, it just suddenly goes, oops, you're going to fail all the time now. It's so dumb. Can't wait for this part to be over and done with. I don't recall the Persona 5 Guardian being this difficult or annoying, would be a better word. Like, how is it flying off? There we go, thank fuck. Look at the size of it. You caught the Sea Guardian. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's. we might as well just continue fishing because we're here anyway. Oh, another guardian. Yeah, sure, let's try and grab two. I ain't grabbing this one. Too many fails. Yeah. That's fine, I caught one, that's the main thing. Wow, another guardian. Pathetic. I can only assume I got lucky in the other one. <sighs> but it's done. That's the main thing. So we can hand that in now. Man, is there nobody around at all anymore? Oh, wow. Oh, he's still around. Um... I feel as if I should probably use the shrine. Actually, hmm... I should use the shrine, but I don't know who for. That's my issue here. I would assume... No, I, I get the feeling they probably need to use it on Naoto, but... Maybe I should use it on the stepmother? Actually, yeah, let's just, let's just use it on Eri. Let's just use it on Eri, because uh, Eri usually needs a boost. Oh, right, yeah, it's not there, because it's fucking raining. Ugh. Because nothing's available in the rain. I keep forgetting. Guess I'll read. I'll finish... Uh, no, this time I will finish Food Fight. Oh, cool, I got diligence for reading that. Nice, that was good timing. Alright, we're coming to the end. We're coming to the midnight channel part. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Ah, but it's now available. That's the real question. It would be nice to max her out right now. Okay, she's meant to be available on a Saturday, but she's clearly not here, so. Unless she's somewhere else. Maybe she's like maybe she's in the floodplain.
No, oh, oh! No, it's a... Oh, what? Princes don't exist in reality. Now it's her son is so cool and capable, but if you think about it, this would only work on TV. Oh, yeah. I think I've already heard that one. If you start investigating your, uh... No. Oh, yeah, it's also raining, so I still can't hand this in. I still can't complete this quest. Oh, God. I can max out the fox right now if it weren't fucking raining. Because I need to hand in the guardian to the guy, and as is tradition, the guy doesn't. People don't spawn when it rains because the game hates you. There's nothing for me to do. Um. I can't even. I can't even use the shrine. I guess I'll just go eat the meal, and hope that my diligence maxes. Oh my god, how much diligence do I need? Nobody's going to be available. Might as well just head straight upstairs and read a book. Let's read the book about diligence. You begin, to, you begin reading Office Work Manual. The manual contains useful tips on ways to be more efficient when doing office work. You feel as if this will be a great help for you when you work your part-time job. You read your book as the rain spatters against the window. Your diligence has increased. Bang! There we go. I don't even need to finish the book. Well, that's all my stats maxed out, so fuck knows what I'm going to do in the rain now. I don't, I don't know what to do in the rain anymore. I have nothing. You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Grand Rev Your Desires. Listen, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. May our Lord's television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the price available for these three days. It's Angel Skirt. It's Mystic Power Protect You. Oh, my goodness. Can't believe it's one of us. I'll add diet food to your Angel Skirt. All for the low price of 59,800 yen. We've got no fantastic Pantelli today. Soma! I can't even buy, I don't think I can even buy the angel skirt, but I'm curious to know what it is, considering how absolutely expensive it is. The angel skirt... It's the final choice, apparently, this. Alright, apparently that's the final Tanaka choice. I don't have any stats to upgrade. We're in a bit of a pickle. We're in a bit of a pit pit pickle. Um Well shit, what do I do now? If he wants to see the Guardian, maybe you should show up to here so I can show it to him. Man, this is crazy. I have literally nothing to do. I actually know there is one thing I can do. I guess I'll get the uh, the trophy for eating the, the meal because I should be able to do it now. Or 
Alright, we should be able to absolutely just demolish this this now, right now. Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner, Aya, you accepted the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. You still can't see the rice. If you get to spit this, it's a, to me dimension, the amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to understand, finish this bowl, you must have an understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face the unrelated tactic beef, and the ability to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these treats are necessary to master the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. However, you are confident you can finish it. You finished your meal. Get fucked. You tried your best to finish the Rainy Day Special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge and your personality has grown tremendously. You're understanding. Yeah. Since you had finished reading Food Fight, yep. Yeah. I am amazed you finished that entire thing. Since you waited all, your meal is free. That's it. <laughs> it's just free. After all of that, I didn't get a, I didn't get a fucking item. Oh my god. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Can't believe I didn't even get an item. Uh, well, it's done anyway. That's another thing which we can't... Which means at this point, then, it's completely pointless to do anything in the rain. Because there's nothing. There's nothing to do in the rain anymore. Except for maxing out Naoto. She's essentially the final thing I've got to do. Um, before we start doing, because because there's going to be a lot of story stuff coming up, I'm guessing. So before that all starts, I'll just grab myself another cup of tea and I'll be back in a few in a few minutes.
Do it. Return to room, watch the Midnight Channel? I will. It's midnight. The fog has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Nanoko has been rescued and you were able to arrest the culprit, who I wish I could kill. There's probably no need to watch the Midnight Channel anymore. Fog is covering the town. I'm not even maxed out Rise. Ugh, this, she's, she's still... I think she still needs maxing. The fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame's in today's paper. The front page's headline article says that Namatami has regained consciousness. We should strangle him and then throw him up, throw him up a bridge. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Namatame, who had been confined in a local hospital, regained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's depositions. So it's finally over. Yeah. Seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. How's Namatami doing? He's regained consciousness, but it's hard to say. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatami had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry. I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him! Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. My understanding is that I shouldn't do the final dungeon until pretty much the last day. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. How's your studying going? Though you may be very busy with your studies, make sure you keep up with your personal grooming. Every year, some boys come stumbling into the class with stubble on their chins. Of course, their 5 o'clock shadow is more a 5-day five five shadow. Speaking of facial hair, some nations used to impose a tax on facial hair. In 18th century Russia, they also had a hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. Those sure were, those sure were taxing times. Ho ho ho! Be sure to take this down. You never know what'll be on the test, just like you never know what'll be taxed next. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Cool. Nanako. Everyone's here to see you. Talking still seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanaka looks happy. Dojima-san! Ugh. How many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Big bro.
I'm here. Yeah, I'm so glad. <sighs> Nanaka closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. <sighs> okay, she seems fine for now. You received an explanation concerning Nanaka's condition from the doctor. Her condition is yeah, stable comes. for now, but uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatami? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. Is the fog poisonous? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Nanako has somehow regained consciousness, but it seems that it will take more time until she fully recovers. Namatami's interrogation that has finally begun. The fog that won't lift and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait until you see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before. So something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's... You know, because of that global warming thing. This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. Huh. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! Yeah. Tanaka's definitely selling gas masks She's now. Not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I I think I'm coming down with something. You you can't be serious. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Business has been so slow lately. All right, let's go see the fog world. Ooh. 
I might hang out with Riso. This is neat. Uh, I don't need to hang out with Kanji. This is so weird. I do wish it looked as foggy as it does in the cutscenes, so. though. I'm sure it's just a full on proper fog. Right, let's hang out with Riso. Do you have a lover's persona on me? I do, okay. Yeah, we're just we're just there pretty much, so we'll just be on the safe side and hang out with her now. Senpai. I both kind of feel like I already know if she's gonna get maxed. But all the people I can hang out with. Hmm. I should probably just boost the stepmother, I think. I'm so certain I can I can max out Rise now. Do I hang out with her and just be on the safe side? Well, I've got nothing else to do in the evenings anymore, have I? So I guess I could just put... Yeah, I'll just be on the safe side. Let's hang out with Rise and get it over and done with. Yeah, let's chill. Really? Yeah, I get to spend some time with you. Risei seems happy. Pretty soon I can max it though. Senpai. Did you know the show we played at Junes went viral on the internet? People left comments like, what band is this? And when's their next gig? Haha, <laughs> maybe it's a shame we're both only doing it for one day. Hey Senpai, why don't we play a secret show next time? <laughs> I'm on vocals next time. Oh, so you think you can sing her? Then why don't we do a duet? I can see the blog posts now. Who is this guy and how close is he to reset? Rise is laughing teasingly. Mm, I think I'll pass on doing any more concerts for a while. It's not like I'm back in show business now. Oh, but hmm. If I wear Teddy's costume, maybe, maybe people won't know it's reset. You've enjoyed the ride chat with Rise. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'd rather be on the safe side. Oh, it's already late, but I don't want to leave you yet. Haha, <laughs> I shouldn't be so clingy, I know. Hey, Senpai, what's up this? I love Marshmallow. It's a special something just for you. Keep it to yourself, okay? Oh, yeah, I love Marshmallow. Good night. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's just, it's literally just fog forever. Cool. You overhear students talking. The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? The fog looks like it's going to stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard it's poisonous. Very toxic. And nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home where I'll... <coughs> You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? No, I think people are legitimately dying. <laughs> All right, who have we got? Okay, I can max out Naoto. Perfect. That's probably what I will do. Except I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's no more weather now. I'm guessing that it's just fog until the end. It's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you've got a back pain. Oh, see? Speaking of back pain, there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. Makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. Do you know what they are? Well then, Norman Kuhn, who doesn't look like he... No. What are you talking about? I've got max stats. Do you know what an atlas is? Book of maps. Yeah. You are very good. Yep, an atlas is a book of maps. Mercator's book of maps featured a large picture of atlas on the cover. Note the spelling. It's spelled A-T-L-A-S, okay? I mean, how else would you spell it? Well, there's always... Oh, my back! You gave the correct answer.
I like the fact that the music is just gone. <laughs> oh, we've got more quests as well. Tests are coming up soon, but there's still time to procrastinate. I'll keep my all-night studying schedule. Huh? Did something happen to you? I don't know, but cheer up. At times like this, I tell you to eat a croquette. But recently, even those have started to taste bad. My mother is always telling me that I should be studying more. She keeps bringing up this kid in elementary school and saying that I need to be like him. Isn't that crazy? What kind of super kid is he anyway? I'd like to ask you for a special favor. Could you listen to me for a second? I'm all ears. That girl on the roof. What do you think she thinks of me? Well, there's nothing I can do but change myself. I already have a plan. You know, that girl said she wanted to be a vet, so I think that she'll need an animal guide. So I've given one as a present. Don't you think it'll score me some major points with her? Well, my problem is that I don't have the slightest clue of where I could get something like that. Do you have any ideas? I'll check the TV. Huh? You mean, like an infomercial or something? You, you don't? Ah. Well, if you do think of a way to find one of those, could you bring it to me? Oh, a reward. R right, a reward. I'll give you something really special. Come on, help me out here! It's a picture book that an old scholar or a magician would use. From a magician, like on top of a cloud or something. I'm still fighting with my friends. I tried talking with, to them again, but it just made them really angry. If I just went and had a serious discussion with them, it might be different, but I can't do it. That's enough, I'm going home. No one knows what's causing this fog. I wonder if we're okay here. This is kind of scary. Right now, I'm more afraid of the fog than the am of the test coming up. Even my friends are afraid now. I wonder if it gets foggy like this out in the city. I'm always, I've always lived here in the countryside, but I don't really think I like it. I want to go somewhere where it isn't foggy. Tests are coming up soon. I'm not going to tell anyone to study anymore. From now on, I am a bastion of silence. They could fail their tests and stay stupid for the rest of their lives. Hey, you. Are you on good terms with that Prince of Junez? Who does she mean? You mean the bear? Bear? What are you talking about? Seems you were mistaken. It was a long time ago, but I remember the day I met Senpai like it was yesterday. I had fainted and she carried me to the help office in her gentle arms, and, then, and she looked after me there. A strand of her long hair brushed against my cheek, and her fingers were so slender and soft. That's when I fell in love. She's, not, she's the only person I've ever loved, actually. But I made her so angry. Now I'll never have my chance, will I? I was able to make it with my friend. Oh, right, yeah, I've already been through that. Wait, hang on. She said she had accentuated circumstances that made her decide to get a job we talked about at all. She got angry with me and said that I can't give up my dream job because she can't live up to her promise. It's true, though. If you stay near your friends, you'll have a rich life. But I wanted to save animals. That's what made me want to be a veterinarian. I decided that I'm going to talk to my parents about it one last time. The forecast is fog. Yeah. Hmm, ah, uh, well, no matter how you look at it, there's nothing but this fog for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it's pretty mad, isn't it? Hey, I saw you at the hospital a little while ago. You have family there too? You must have a drop. All it takes is one person to fall apart and it's like your whole life comes crumbling down with her. It's not easy being a teenager, is it? It's actually incredibly easy being a teenager. You think I should buy a gas mask? Huh? Miko, are you serious? This fog is weird. Someone on TV said so. But to put on a gas mask, where would you buy one of those anyway? Doesn't Juno sell, sell them? They're really popular and all. Everyone wants one. Everyone. Okay, there's another quest. Do people ever think they'd be happy if they could go back and live in the past? I've been wondering. I've only been listening to my radio and it's like my heart just yearns for a return to those simpler times. Listening to the radio on a lazy summer day, just the two of us without a care in the world. The radio I'm listening to hasn't changed at all. Why is the rest of the world so different? To be honest, I have another favor to ask. 
I want to build another crystal radio just like the one I had when I was a kid, but I can't find what I need. I used a mineral called Old Ore, but it seems to be quite rare now. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try to find you some. Thank you. I really can't order it from anywhere, and I was at a complete loss. Sorry to ask you how much, but I can't on you. All oh, right. Okay, the fish, the fish enemies. It's important to have keepsakes to remind you of the people who are important to you. Don't you agree? Yes, I think so. Really? Do you think it's okay to fall in love with someone because of what they leave behind? I don't know. That seems a bit of an escalation. Wow, it's almost December. I know it's a long way still, but I kind of dread this time of year. We always have these big family gatherings on Christmas, which means we have to make a lot of food. And then it's New Year, so there's even more preparing to do. Why me? All I want to do is go outside. Um, Norman Senpai, I'd like to ask another favour of you, but... Do you think you could find me a piece of classy lumber? See, I'm thinking about building a shelf, something nice that you could display models on. I want to surprise my dad with it, but I can't seem to get a hold of quality wood. I know it's a lot to ask, but Senpai, you're the only one I know who can do this. Leave it to me. You're amazing, Senpai. I apologize for putting you out like this all the time. Please, all I need is a piece of classy lumber. All of these are in the heaven dungeon. Hey, did you hear that Miss Kashiwaki ruined yet another magic marriage arrangement? Not so hard to believe, I'd say. She's pretty damn full of herself. No one in town thinks she's ever find she'll ever find her husband at the rate she's going. And you know what? I agree. <laughs> We'll just continue talking to everybody first. Does it affect Akina City? It does affect Akina City, okay. I wonder what these people think about the fog. The conversation seems serious. Hey, will you do me a favor? I'm doing a taste test, and I want some honest feedback from young people like you. I'll eat the red one. You swallowed the red object. The taste is a harmony of tomatoes and sweet red bean. You gave the man your feedback. Hmm, I see. Thank you. That's very helpool. A local farmer and a patissier decide to help me out. I'm trying to create a hit. Once I do, I'll take it to my company. Eat the black one. It's all the black objects. There's a faint taste, taste of eggplant within the sweet red bean. It's the green one. A harsh cabbage flavor is fighting for dominance over the sweet red bean. You hear the man you feed that. Okay. You can't be happy without money. But even if you have money, you can't be happy without love either. Which means I need a man with money. I wish there was somewhere you, that you could go and pick one up. A man with money. Oh, I st yeah, I need to do her quest as well. This is the Akina Station office. You're not mistaking this for one of the stores, are you? I'm oh, sorry, a lot of elderly people get lost in the fog and mistake this office for someplace else. Hmm, it's pretty dangerous, isn't it? Maybe I should fill in the steps. Hey, only a couple of them were acknowledging the fog. Hey, hey, do you want to talk to me? Hmm? What do you want to talk about? Um, um, anything's fine. Just go ahead and ask me anything. Oh, they're getting there. The fog's been out a lot lately, hasn't it? I've heard weird rumors while I was on the road to Yomini san Maybe I should just stay home and read. My mom, she says the fog is dangerous and that she wants to move out soon. I wonder if we wouldn't have to move if the weather lady said that the weather was going to be clear skies. But even if we move, I'll be with my little sister, so I'll be fine. Lately, the fog's been coming in thick. Something doesn't seem right about it, does it? Well, to be honest, my friend told me this. He said that the novice fog is a curse. Since it first showed up, we've had all these events and weird rumors. On top of that, the temperature dropped. If all that doesn't point to some kind of supernatural curse, I don't know what does. Don't you think all this to stuff is totally suspicious? It's got to be a curse, no doubt about it. He's right. I can't think of what I should make for dinner. What if the TV's right, that everything's okay? What's with that attitude, little girl? Chin up, so strong. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh dear, have you heard the news? Many people have collapsed due to the fog. Eh? 
Well, I just heard of someone collapsed, but you know, I don't know who exactly. It's just so scary though. On top of that, the people who came to investigate the fog have vanished. If that fog is actually poisonous, I don't even want to think about it. It's too scary. If the fog is poison, does it mean it's not natural? I knew it! It's Orjunas' fault. They're the ones responsible for this terrible fog. They're dumping some sort of waste that creates that this miasma, aren't they? It's downright deplorable. I've heard that one before. Mayu-chan, what do you like about Shota? He's got a hundred on the test and he's a fast runner. He's so cool. But he's so wishy-washy. He won't say which of us he likes better. Yeah, that's true. He likes his friends, Barry. He keeps telling you this. This late night news program had a small segment about an arbor in it. They said that the fog was being compared to the Great Fog of London in 1952, that it could be deadly. What are we gonna do? You gotta be careful when taking your motorcycle out on a foggy day. I wish whoever honked at me when I slowed down more than usual understood that. He yelled at me for going too slow. What's wrong with following the speed limit? Wait, or was I at fault there? Alright, let's go to the floodplain. I don't know, let's go to Juno's. Lord Junos, the Junos doesn't, uh, the Junos theme doesn't get replaced. I thought I'd finally begun to understand everything at my age, but I guess not. No siree, even when you're this old, you're still finding out new things about yourself. I figured I'd gotten wiser since I was your age, but I've also held on to stuff I should have let go a long time ago. There's a lot to be ashamed of in a long life, but it sure keeps things interesting. <laughs> you better just enjoy getting older, okay? Oh, hey, hey, um, I'd like to ask you something of you. So, you have a minute then. I've got another request to ask of you. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'd like another lamp. Something simple but beautiful, but not too gaudy. That kind of lamp. I looked at some stores, but I ain't seen nothing like that. But you're something else. I think you could find something like that for me. So what do you say? Sure. Thank you. So to keep bargaining with these things. A modest lamp. In the clouds. Yep. Okay. You! I'll teach you everything I know. Here's the Sea Guardian. What? Is that true? Oh my, that's... <laughs> oh, that was a surprise. I saw my dead wife for a moment there. But that's it. That's the Sea Guardian I never could catch in all my years. Young man, well done. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. I'm glad I lived to be this age. I have no regrets now. Maybe it's time for me to join my dear wife. No, it's not over yet. I've got the fire of a fisherman lit in you. And I could do the same for other children too. You won't mind if I do a little more work before I shovel off this mortal coil, right, my dear? It won't be too long. Oh, it's you again. My mom got mad at me. The fog's dangerous, so don't go out so much. We, we're going to be moving soon, so you better be prepared, she said. But because my older sister with me, I don't feel that lonely. I guess being worried to it's actually pretty fun. Now that she accepts that we're different, it's fun. It's all thanks to you. Thank you. I can't shake the image of my... Uh, I've already heard that one. I already heard the other one before as well, but... He's, he really needs to investigate his wife's store. Oh, I can just keep doing it. I thought I had to do it once a day. Do I need this huge fish for anything? I thought I had to get the huge fish for something, but I've caught a guardian now, so maybe the huge fish isn't needed for anything unless there's a quest that I've not done. There is, it does say huge fish quest. Give it the Guardian? No. Maybe the huge fish will fill up the cat. But... I can always go fishing for more stuff. Um... Are you up here? How's your mother-in-law? In the end, my mother-in-law wouldn't eat anything I cooked, and the fog never cleared up either. I guess I'm go I'll stop going to my mother-in-law's house after all. That seems to be the only... No. That seems to be the only real solution. Just stop visiting her. 
Um, let's max out the detective. Let's max out Naruto. Well, yes. Here we go. Samagawa Riverbank. Fog has enveloped the area. It feels like such a long time ago that we were here chasing after the Phantom Thief. It was an unforgettable case, full of rewards. I enjoyed it. What about you? It was exciting. Yes, I thought so too. It was even more invigorating to solve it with you. Now to a smiling cheerfully. So, um, I wanted to give you something today. I uh, made this. Please accept it. You obtained detective badge. I haven't crafted anything like this in some time. If I went back to the estate, I could have added a camera and transceiver. Oh, but it flashes. I made myself one to match. Now you're my assistant, senpai. <laughs> Leave it to me. Oh. All right. You realize I'm quite serious about this, yes? Now to smiling cheerfully. The title of detective became a burden to me. I thought I had no other aspects apart from detective self. But you and the others gave me a reason to be as neither adult nor man. So, I... I was able to face myself as myself. Before the detective. Before the child. Before the woman. By spending time with you all, I changed day by day. It frightened me before. But now... With everyone, with you, I can proudly proclaim that I am myself. Nothing more, but nothing less. Now to smiling gently. I can't believe I maxed her out before Kanji. Now it was strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness as awakened her heart's true power. Well, she is a great character. Now it was Persona has been reborn. Sukuna Hikona has transfigured into Yamato Takaru. This potential was still dormant within me. I wasn't considering the things that I should have. The people who care about me as well as my own self. When I'm with you, I feel fearless. You can sense now it was warm trust and respect. You feel a tight bond between you and Naoto. There it is. We've maxed fortune. Vow our tie and I am Vow. Vow has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon V the ability to create Norn, the ultimate form of the fortune arcana. The Naoto Shiragani social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Naoto Shiragani social link. Your power to create personas of the fortune arcana has reached its maximum. No misunderstood as forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the fortune social link, you can now fuse Norn, the triple godhead of fate. Naoto's growth of heart has affected the persona as well. Invigorate 3. God, she could be recovering SP. She could, you could get her to be recovering seven. Twelve SP per turn. That's gonna make all of her magic just. Can't believe there's an invigorate free.
To be fair, I'm not using her, so I'll just replace her. I don't know why I was thinking so hard. I'm not even, I'm not, I don't. Well then, let us begin. There's a lot you must learn before becoming a detective. I myself can't relent in my training to become a formidable woman detective. We'll start off with something that may come in handy before too long. Shadowing a suspect. Naruto pounded the basics of detective work into you. You had a good time with Naruto. Uh, I'm gonna go fishing. Actually, no, I'm not. Hang on. That's the else, okay. Um... If I want to finish off that request, I probably should do fishing right now. The request for the cat. So much easier than the Guardian. How is that? Oh, it's a, that's the that's the huge fish. How? Whatever. Let's just keep fishing. I'm the greatest fisherman that ever lived. Alright, end of a foggy day. Today is Labor Appreciation Day, so you have the day off from school. All you can do now is wait for the situation to unfold. It's another day off. Yeah, what have you got for me? Give me the daikon stuff. I don't care about tomorrow's anymore. I will. What are we doing today? Actually, I best check and see if there's any extra requests. Hmm, actually. Damn. I am still missing a bachelor. Wonder if I've I wonder if there's gonna be quests for the final dungeon.
Oh, Kanji's free. Um, absolutely, let's go. I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything else to do. Oh wait, actually, uh, let me go feed the feed that cat again. I don't know. I can just feed him in one day. Oh, hey. So Naruto did hang out in the floodplain. I thought so. I will. Oh my god, this cat. No, I'm not giving it the Guardian. I caught that with my own fucking hands. Will you go visit Nanako? What? How strange that I can do that. I can't believe that cat is still not full though. How much food does that cat fucking cat need? Um, I'm gonna hang out with Kanji. Because I'd rather, again, I'd rather just do social links. And Kanji needs maxing. How about we go for some food? Chie Senpai says the state ball hair is great, <laughs> and hey, she's the expert. Yo, Kanji Tatsumi, right? I'd like to have a word with you. Huh? Huh? Yeah, well, I wouldn't. Come with me. You got a warrant? Woo, Senpai. Kanji looks happy. Ah, you're that kid that Tatsumi's been hanging around with lately. I see. So you're in cahoots. That's right, punk. So what if we hang out? What's it to you? You know there's been a group of teenage bullies lurking around here, don't you? We got a tip saying you've been threatening a child at the hill in the floodplain. Threatening? Child? Oh, him. Yeah. Hmm, so you admit it. Not a shred of remorse, either. It's a misunderstanding. Oh? So tell me, what was he doing? Uh, that's... Ken Kanji is hesitant to say. You two are going to have to come with us down to the station. Quit it. Now, wait a sec. Senpai has nothing to do with this. Oh, mister, what are you doing? You know these boys, kid? Can you tell me how you know them? I don't believe that... I don't think they're being straight with me. Hey! The, the hell are you telling that kid? You call yourself a cop? Did this boy ask, for you, ask you for anything? For instance, did he claim he lost his money? You lost your money, mister? You can have some of mine. Just as I thought. Thanks, kid. You're the fucking worst. That ain't... Oh, but I came today to give you the cookies mom baked as thanks. I was going to sneak in and leave them at ta Tatsumi Textiles, but here you are. Thanks. Thanks for what? He made me a bunch of dolls, like a bunny and cat. He's real good. Dolls? And you're saying Tatsumi made them? What a load. There's no way you you're going to be to believe that. Tell him, Kanji. Thanks, man. Yes, senpai. I got it. Kanji nodded firmly. Alright, listen up, punks. There ain't any line about it. I made the kids some dolls. 
what what with yeah, what with the ones for his friends and his mom, it was eight all told. And let me warn you, they're so cute they'll give you diabetes, the instantly fatal kind. So what, you want me to teach you how to make them, huh? What? You about to say that ain't like me, right? Go ahead and laugh, damn it. Like I care. I'm used to being pointed at. And what's more important is, I ain't gonna, to, I ain't gonna make this kid or senpai a liar. Hey you, that button's falling off. I'm gonna sew it back on, you hear? Officer, what are you doing with my kanji? Oh, oh well ma'am, there have been several cases of bullying around here, so... Kanji had nothing to do with them. Mom. He would never do such a thing. He may be stupid and short-tempered, but he's a strong and gentle child. Why, just the other day he showed me his dolls and he told me I could put them up for sale. You, you old bird, what are you saying? We, we apologize if you'll excuse us. Get out of here. M Mom, you believe me over the police? You would, ne you would never do such a thing. A mother knows. I need to prepare dinner now. Don't go stuffing yourself at Aya before coming home. I... Mister, are you crying? No, no, no. I ain't crying. This is... Stop! I got a cold. You wanna catch it, huh? It seems Kanji's grown a bit. You feel your relationship with Kanji's grown yet deeper. Rank 8. The Kanji Tatsumi social link has reached level 8. You're proud to create personas that the Emperor Arcana has grown. Kanji's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. That's amazing. That's actually incredible for him. Um, yeah, fuck up. Ugh, I'm gonna have to get rid of all that break, I think. I don't want to get rid of a light break though, because I know there's a boss coming up that pretty much wants you to do this. Uh, it's gonna go. It's gonna have to go. I can always make a persona with all the breaks. Senpai, I, I, I think I'm getting a sore throat with my cold. Damn it, my, my nose won't stop running. Well, you better go catch it. You waited for Kanji to calm down and went home. Ah, and there it is, the final delivery of goods. Um... GA wants to hang out. Here we go. It's been a while since I last went drinking with you. I know, I know. You want me to go to go to one more bar? I'll go with you, but only because I have to. Not putting up much of a fight today, huh? I bet you need to talk to me about something important, Daddy. No, I just thought my asshole boss along would we having my asshole boss along would be better than drinking alone. Oh, okay. Then we're drinking till morning. Don't worry about the fog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we're done now. Oh, I don't need to deal with her anymore. I'm not even going to start the Hangman Arcana. <laughs> it's pretty bad that, that I'm actually not going to even start one. Not my fault there's a billion rainy days and they just kept eating up my time. Uh, I'm just going to boost Eri. I should catch more fish, but... Okay, good. Good! I think we can max out the Stepmother. Oh, another foggy day. You overhear students talking. I can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that this is natural. If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately, but I guess it's, real it's nothing really unusual. 
Why do, why do people in Persona games just convince themselves that some wacky shit is always just normal behavior? Kanji? It is first day. Kanji? I'm definitely gonna increase Kanji. 100%. We'll get Kanji all the way. Uh, maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. Days like these, I just want to spend all my day counting my money at home. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's easy to count when you use a sequence of numbers with a common difference. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Numbers with geometric progression are more difficult to count by. Here's a sequence that's even harder to count by. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. Norman Coon, can you answer this? Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. What's this sequence called? The Fibonacci sequence. Yep, that's the Fibonacci sequence. Good to know you're studying. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by starting with zero, then one, then all the others are the sum of the two before them. I wouldn't dream of having my money grow in geometric progression, but at the very least, I can wish for a Fibonacci growth. Sorry that I'm all, so I'm getting, getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. Not that we've been we've been fighting, but he's been going on about how the fog is poisonous. Oh, I'm so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. Give the correct answer. You know, answer degrees. I'm already the best person in existence though at this point. All right, let's deal with Kanji. Hey Norman, is it true that there's poison in the fog? If it's true, then it's too late now, huh? But that's the rumor going around the town. It's a bioweapon. It's poison. All that good stuff. No one knows what's causing this fog. I wonder if we're okay. This is kind of scary. Right now, I'm more afraid of the fog than I even of the test coming up. Even my friends are afraid now. Oh, Norman. Oh, my heart feels about as low as all that fog out there. I got rejected. What's worse, I made a cry. Oh, yeah, I heard that one. Let's just go hang out with Kanji. Man, the fog is crazy thick again. It kind of feels like the future itself has gone hazy, doesn't it? If you take the time to just look outside, it seems like it's getting darker and darker. I guess I'll go to Shiroku's and think up some new designs. Oh, I forgot. An odd morsel. Ah, oh, Norman Senpai, how's the love life? treating you. Don't let the fog get your spirits down. It's times like this when the power of love really shines. Ah. Alright, Kanji, let's go. Kanji looks happy. The hill overlooking town. Kanji brought you here, saying he wanted to talk someplace quiet. Fog has enveloped the area. The day I, I went to visit Dad's grave. It's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. How was it? How was it? I, well, I felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. Kanji is smiling sadly. Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. I felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. It pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. If 
fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting mom, trying to catch this killer. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong, that I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm gonna start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm gonna bust right through as my own self. That's the way to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. Good for you. Sir, it's all thanks to you. Kanji is smiling gently. You thought Kanji's firm resolve you feel your relation with Kanji has grown yet deeper. The Kanji Tatsumi social links reached level 9. Your power to create persons of the Emperor Arcana has grown. Kanji's determination in battle has been enhanced. Kanji can now take a mortal blow for you in battle. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were a big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I gotta go buy supplies. I need a jet. Good for you, Kanji. You parted with Kanji and went home. I need to max the fox soon, but I should be able to do that on probably a Sunday. Resay, I know for a fact you can we'll I'll max out I'll max out Resay tomorrow, which will be good. Um I guess I'll just go fishing. Wait, let me go grab some uh grab some more bugs. I'm so happy bug catching doesn't take time. It's such a shame that the fox isn't a nighttime social link. Because it would make a lot of sense for the fox of all things to be the nighttime social link. I do love the fact that it's just fog for fog forever. 
The old Japanese calendar had different names for the month. September was Nagatsuki and October was Kanazuki. This weather feels like all the gods have gone away and left us since the last month. This fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped up in a gauze, like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, if my house was as nice as one of the ancient pyramids, I probably wouldn't complain about it so much. But mummies are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You, however, have tests coming up. And if you failed the last exams, you have even more cause for concern. I don't want to see you haunting these halls. Well then, Norman Chan, I've got a question for you. There are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt, but you do know but do you know who's buried in the biggest one? Is it Tutankhamun? By any chance? Khufu? Who the fuck is Khufu? That's right, the Great Pyramid is the tomb of the Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. It took over 20 years to build and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost four millennia. I'm going to put this question on next week's test. I wish you all luck on moving on to the next grade. Study hard. You gave the correct answer. I not agree. Hello, let's go. Kanji? Risei? I probably want to deal with Risei first. Yep. We say, don't you worry, I am on route, I just want to know who else is available. Okay, nobody's walking up to me. Is this a kanji day? No, kanji, kanji's not a Friday guy. Ah, it's you. The fog's pretty thick today. I go out on walks and I can hardly recognize my surroundings. Pretty sad, ain't it? But hey, thanks for stopping to talk to me. Isn't it strange that the fog won't clear up? I wonder if it's like that El Nino thing. I hear a lot about it in town. Something about how Junez is the one causing it. Hey, it could be. Junez is going to get burned to the ground, isn't it? The fog won't clear, will it? There's talk that it's some kind of poison. My wife is all business as usual, but I'm worried. The cop. Oh my god, this cop. Please. How are you how are you not full? Thank you. We finally dealt with the cat. The cat is done. Okay. Read so you can't make sense of what he's mumbling about. Da. Okay. We have people showing up in weird places. They call me out of class again. Told me my grades aren't too hard right now. How does everyone seem to know that? Are there ears in the walls or something? Being out here in the country is bad and it's bad because it's the country. But what can I do about it? I wish someone could get me out of here. Oh, he's got a gas mask. Hey, hey you, where's your gas mask? The fog is poison, so you have to be careful. Everyone's saying it, so it has to be true. Get a hold of yourself. Well, I know what I'm saying. It's poison, isn't it? Aren't those poison... Aren't those gas masks dumb? If the fog was poisonous, we'd be dead already. Yeah, but isn't it dangerous? Everybody says it is. If the fog's so dangerous, then shouldn't you go home? My mom told me to go outside. I'm not supposed to be at home. Well, then I'll stay with you. Wait a minute. Hang on a sec. Yeah, also, they're in two different screens. That's what happens when you pay attention to the NPCs. These two are in two different screens, so two in two different places. Go oh, there. What are you doing walking around all unprotected? This whole town's cursed. The world is ending and you're wandering around with them, protecting your lungs and body. You need a gas mask, man. Don't you even watch TV. The fog is really dark, isn't it? I get the feeling I haven't seen the sun in a long time. I thought it was horrible before, but now... 
A lot of the other women in the neighborhood have started wearing gas masks, but I, gas masks, don't need them. Bunch of scaredy cats. See what I have to put up with. I wonder who I should be listening to. I don't really get it. After all this time, what's happened to the murderer? There's nothing but rumors flying around. It's deplorable. If Unit is behind that fog, then, then, then I think there are still some more incidents coming. Oh dear. Uh... Ah, Norman, could, may I help you? Do I need to do something else here? Why, do, why can't I ask about Kanji? Don't tell me I've got to do something else for the kanji. Ask about kanji. He isn't home yet. Oh yes, I was thinking about giving this to my boy. What do you think? It seems to be a work shirt that says Tatsuma Textiles on the back. I'm sure he'd be embarrassed to get it from me. So won't you give it to him, said Norman? I think he'd be wear it proudly if it was from you. Oh, I'm so glad that you're such a wonderful friend to my son. Oh, I got him a costume. Hell yeah. My teacher said to go home quickly because of the fog. It's nice not to have the girls chasing me around, but it's boring because I can't play soccer now. <laughs> Got what you wanted and didn't get what you wanted straight afterwards. Um, yeah, it's as if the kids are getting more and more scared. Okina City. They're starting. They're really starting to acknowledge the fog's existence now. Except for these people. These people still refuse to acknowledge. Hey kid, the fog's pretty thick. Be careful on that bike, okay? Yeah, the fog is dangerous. Be careful. Alright, Risa, let's go. Oh, Senpai, I'm happy to see you. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't be in that kind of mood right now. Risa is trying to help you feel better. Let's spend time with Risa. Uh -huh. There's a place I want to go. Your room, okay? Risa fidgets awkwardly. Here we go. Your room! You brought Risei here at her request. Uh, um, I am currently in Senpai's room. Seems quite clean for a boy of his age. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything lying around that he wouldn't want me to see. Now then, where could the goods in question be hiding? I'll ask the man himself. So, where do you hide them? You want to see? I'm sorry. Um, it's not that I wanted to know. I, I just got kind of embarrassed, so... You meanie. Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see, I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizad, after all. And when I consider it that way... I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? I'll do it for her. For my old manager, Inoue-san. For my family, everyone. You. And for myself. Risei's eyes are shining. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. You obtained signed photo. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Reset. A Reset without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. So I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. 
There's a lot of Rises inside me. I won't try to change them. Instead, I'll let people know that those Rises exist. That's the me I want to be. <laughs> Rise's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her heart's true power. Rise's persona has been reborn. Himiko has transfigured into Kanzion. This means my powers have changed? I see. I've become a little stronger. Thanks to you being with me. <sighs> um, Senpai, as long as you're watching me, I'll do my best. So, um, well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. Well, <laughs> oh, come on. I've confessed my love hundreds of times on TV. Why can't I do it in person? <sighs> We say her face red is at a loss for words. Um, I'm sure I can hang in there as long as you're watching me. Because, um, you're special to me. You can sense Risei's unconditional love. You feel a tight bond between you and Risei. Vow our tie, and I am Vow. Vow has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon V the ability to create Ishtar, the ultimate form of the Lover's Arcana. The Risei Kujikawa Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Risei Kujikawa Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Lover's Arcana has reached its maximum. No one misunderstood has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the lover's social link, you can now fuse Ishtar, the goddess of love. Rise is now fully determined. She will help you up when you are hit by a mortal blow. Oh my god, that also would have been super useful in the last in the Namatami boss fight. No matter what I'm doing, I am me. I can say that for sure now. And the strength to say so, it was you who found it for me. I'm going to like the me you found. After all. I like the you who found her. Senpai, I love you. I love you. <sighs> Senpai, keep watching me so I won't mess up again. Look at me. <sighs> um, well, I have never gone through this kind of thing, so... Um, if we were on a TV set... This would be a wrap. So, uh, what am I supposed to do after this? <laughs> <laughs> you passed a long while with Rise. It's gone dark, so you walked Rise to a house. I guess we banged. Alright, that's another social link maxed out. The next one, presumably, is going to be Kanji. Have another melon. No. Could make the war ones again, because actually no, if we're maxing everybody out, I shouldn't need the war ones anymore. Side and see who's who's available. We don't need to fish anymore either. Fishing's done. I want this guardian do actually. Ten SP restores all. Oh, that's a full heal. The guardian is all of an ally's SP. Okay, so I've got two full SP items. That's really good. Okay, Yukiko. And Yo 
Yosuke. I don't need eye review. Yeah, I guess the only thing I can really do at this point is the shrine. Who am I boosting? Do we just keep should I just keep putting points into Eri? <sighs> Who's Marie and Adachi? Oh yeah, how do I deal with Adachi? When's the next Adachi? When's the next Adachi increase? Um, I could just put points into Kanji just to be on the safe side. I'm going to do that. Let's just be on the safe side. Let's just put points into Kanji just in case he's not going to increase. Perfect. That'll do. Just, just in case. Just in case. Let's just be on the safe side. Right. We'll uh, hopefully be able to max him out right now then. You overhear students talking. Hey, don't you think there are more and more people getting weird because of the fog? I even see people wearing these huge gas masks around town. Yeah, and people are getting sick too. Haven't there been people saying lots of weird stuff lately? Like that the world is ending or that global warming is because of the original sin. Nutty stuff like that. Hey, what do you think is going to happen if you think someone's sick but you don't do anything about it? I mean, to be honest, yesterday my dad... The original sin? Oh boy. Good morning. What's up, you guys? You don't look so well. Are you exhausted from studying for the test around the corner? I hope you're not forgetting something. Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you? It's actually coming up in five days. Have you found your dates yet? Ha ha ha! I got mine already. Tell you what. I'll give you guys a Christmas question. All right. Ask question regarding cakes, misunderstood. Which of these is considered a rice cake? I'll use my frying pan as a drying pan. I don't know. Moki, apparently. Moki. Excellent! Moki is a type of rice cake. When you think of cake, you think of dessert, but something pounded together is also called a cake. That's the case with Moki, as it's rice pounded together. As another example, Kamaboko is a fish cake. Fish meat pounded together. However, you probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. Ha ha ha! Oops. My mother's always telling me that I should be studying more. She keeps bringing up. <laughs> Alright, tests are coming. Time to start another round of all night study sessions. Are you confident? Oh, yeah. That's it. Say it loud. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Let's just both look on the test, okay? Yeah, the fog's pretty pretty bad, eh? But I'm not gonna let that interfere with the new me. I've got my priorities straight now. Fool me once, shame on me, but there's no gonna be a second time. New rule, no more falling in love. Senpai. I will spend time with Kanji. Is there anywhere else I want to go or do? I could do with Max and all the Fox, but I'll do that on the Sunday. Yeah. I want to stop by your place. Oh god, you're going to give me the Risei treatment. Kanji, this is where me and Risei banged. Your room. You brought Kanji here at his insistence. 
Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. I think she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. I've just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Not just about my hobby, but like when the police suspected me. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. Kanji is smiling wryly. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. You obtained cute strap. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. All right, Kanji, what's the final thing you learned? Kanji's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weaknesses away from his heart's true power. Kanji's persona has been reborn. Taki Mikatsuchi has transfigured into Rokuten Mao. This? For reals? I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. You can sense Kanji's straightforward feelings. You would feel a tight bond between you and Kanji. Vow our time, and I am Vow. Vow has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We have bestowed upon thee the ability to create Odin, the ultimate form of the Emperor Arcana. The Kanji Tatsumi Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Kanji Tatsumi Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Emperor Arcana has reached its maximum. Normal misunderstood has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Emperor Social Link, you can now fuse Odin, the God of Storms. Kanji's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Evade Wind. I need that. I kind of want to get rid of this. Masakunda. I don't think he needs it. <sighs> Let's have a look. I might get rid of Torrent Shot. No, I just don't think he needs this in particular. Because I can do that, so... So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me.
He spent more time than you planned with Kanji. It's gone dark, so he said goodbye to Kanji. All right. Kanji's done. Next. Man, we're really clearing these bastards out now. I guess I'll just read, but there's nothing to read. There's nothing to read. Uh, yeah, I'll just read. Actually, I'll use the shrine again. I'll boost. I'll try and boost somebody else. Who's next? Who is next? I guess I'm dealing with people such as the housewife and um, I can't be it. The housewife, the sports dudes. I. Um, uh, yeah, I guess there's Chie as well. I'll just put some stuff into this. I'll put some stuff into I. You have the day off from school today, all I can do is wait. What should you do today? Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go advance the, fo the fox. Alright, let's see what Tanaka's doing. I know it's the. You hear an infectious cheery song? Here comes Tanaka over the airways to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's amazing commandy. Can I have your desires? This is Tanaka's amazing commandy. It's the mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products available for the next three days. Breathe safe and secure in any harsh environment. We're selling bundles of four gas masks, enough for the family. But the deals don't end there, folks, because I'll throw in four emergency first aid kits with the four gas masks. Can you put a value on your family safety? We can. Protect your loved ones at a low price. Wow, I can hear the phone's ringing off the hook already. Looks like we've completely cleared our inventory. Thanks for participating in an amazing sale, everyone. I'll see you in Persona 5, Tanaka. When I build the laptop. Yeah, we'll deal, we'll deal with the... Uh... I don't think I need to buy any more vegetables. I think I've got enough to last me until the end of the game now. Um, anybody got anything new to say? I think the twins have gone. Yeah, I'll boost. It's time to deal with the fox, I think. She wearing one now. She is. Maybe she always was. Right, the finally, he made sure there was no one around to call for the fox.
The fox brought you the Emma with the wish that you fulfilled. It's probably worried about the outcome. You told the fox that you grinded the wish written on the Emma. How? Oh, the fox looks exuberant. The fox looks at the operatory box and seems pleased. If rumors of the shrine's benevolent spread, more people may come to make offerings. Oh, you can sense the fox's gratitude. You pass some time with the fox. Your relationship with the fox has grown deeper. It seems there are conditions that must be met in order to trip the fox. What? Fuck me, this fox is eating up so much time. What else does he want? What's your fucking problem now? It's meant to max. Why didn't it max? What just happened? Oh, I need to visit him again. That's fucking annoying. This, this fox is absolutely just a time sink. That's all he exists for. He just eats time. Um... Did we just read a book at this point? I don't really have anything else going on. Fuck me, I have nothing to do. I could maintain the garden, I guess. Can't believe the can't, the amount of time that is taken to just max out this one link. You have to go. You have to do the scooter six times. Go fishing. Do bug stuff. You have to do all this stuff, and it, even then, it's still not happy and wants you to do something else. Fuck me. I guess I'll just read. I don't. I don't have anything else to do. Actually, you know what? Let's maintain this. Let's try Let's just speed this up. Actually, nah, fuck it. Let's, let's just read. We will read. Read Forever Macho. You begin reading Forever Macho. Every chapter begins, all men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. What is true manhood? The amazing Khan sets out on a journey to find the platonic ideal of masculinity. You feel more like a real man than ever before. Cool. And it's finals time. Your second term finals begin today and continue until the weekend. You should go to school. We're nearly done with the exams. And then I'm guessing after this, uh, story's gonna massively kick off. Yo. Yo, Norman. Look at this weather, man. What's up with this? It's really weird. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh yeah, a final start today, but that's serious enough to point now. What's gonna happen? I'm worried too. I thought that stuff about the fog being harmful to people was just a rumor, but people are actually getting sick. And even besides that, there have been a lot of weird rumors being spread around too. Damn, I don't like how any of this feels. Same as always, rumors are the biggest cause of problems in the Persona franchise. In some form. Finals day one. What does French food stem from? Italian. Let me just, I'll just get this guy open, but it's Italian anyway. You feel like you've chosen the correct title. What does the P, what does the figure in figure skating refer to? Geometric shapes. Yep. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Finals, day two. Who is buried in the biggest pyramid in Egypt? Khufu. You, 
feel you've chosen the correct answer. What is the book of maps called? It is called an atlas. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. You overhear students talking. Uh, there's no way we can keep the club going like this. Too many of our members are calling in sick. When is this damn fog going to clear up? But Senpai, the people who are just slacking off aren't showing up either, right? You can keep the club with the members you're left with. Maybe the fog helps you find out who's the most dedicated to being in the club. Huh? Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. That kid's going to fall over, isn't he? Finals, day three. What word has the root bride ale as its root? Bridal. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. What kind of bird is a Kanko Dory? It's a cuckoo. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Do, 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 do. We're in December now. We're in December. Bridal, day four. Which country does the South Pole belong to? No one. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. 01123583. What is the sequence called? The Fibonacci sequence. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Let's keep going. You're over here, students, talking. Hey, did you hear what they say it happens on the Midnight Channel? Someone said they turned it on, and there was a picture of this town in complete ruins. Huh? My friend said that she saw an arbor getting swallowed by the fog and sent it to some other dimension. She said there were monsters coming out of the fog too, like in that story. Have you noticed? Ever since this fog started, it seems that some people can see the Midnight Channel even when it's not raining. Could it be... Is our town getting more and more messed up? Maybe we should investigate that. That feels pretty important. Finals Day 5. What desert is the well witch she found in? Namib. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Which of these is considered a rice cake? Mocky. We're out of here. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Cool, we're nearly there. That's the fight. That's the egg time, too. Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. What's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. I think I've only ever encountered this type of fog once in my life back when I was a kid. I don't know what the hell the cause of it was, but I do remember that one day just being so foggy that I couldn't fucking see anything. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, Senpai? Yeah, sure. Oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. What? G guys, put on your glasses! When you put your glasses on, your vision becomes much clearer. Whoa, it's all clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um, could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. It's it's just a thought. <laughs> but it's clearly the case. The mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. <laughs> wow, we haven't used that name in a while. I can't do the dungeon. I can't finish the dungeon, but there's no reason not to go to the Midnight Channel. I need to deal with the fox first. I want to have the fox maxed out so I can just 
refill my SP, because I think that's what it does. I think once you max out, the SP is free then. So last day of exams, you answered every question with ease. The answer seems to be flowing from your hand. It's because I'm a smart boy. There will be a dramatic turn. There will be dramatic turns in the story from this point. It's strongly recommend recommended that you take this opportunity to save. Would you like to save your game now? Yes. Hmm. The real question is, do we want to continue? Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um. Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened, but all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Can they prove anything? I'm sure your uncle can. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her, or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's He's his right. fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. Well, he's right, kind of. You're reminded that you made a promise with Nanako to buy a new Katatsu. What's the matter? You told the others about your promise with Nanako. A Katatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu! Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock! Alright, off to the housewares section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliché because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But... I couldn't save Nana-chan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, 
You shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys... You can stay here. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Ooh. What? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay, Stay out, out of this! this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Well, I pick video game, but it's probably a reset doll. Oh, apparently it's a Jack Frost doll. shapes the best. A plush doll's the way to go. Alright, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Please stop. Oh no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? It's a dachi. Hello? This is a dachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Alright, see you later, gamers. Come on, let's go! In Abba Municipal Hospital, Nanako's room, Dojima is listening to an explanation from the doctor. There have been loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor! on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. Dojima-san, you need to return to your- I don't give a damn about myself! Do something about Nanako! <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. A nurse accompanied Dojima back to his room. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? We all feel the same way. Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? 
You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? You want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako-chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? We're in 404. No. Nanako-chan... Daddy. He'll be here soon. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. Dad's coming. Mm -mm. I'm scared. Big bro. Dad and Daddy. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. No! <clears throat> Damn it! Damn it! Nana Chihan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... Said he was admitted to this hospital. You 
transported into the same hospital? But crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case! What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. Where is his room? I can't tell you that. Just tell us where he is already. Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Yeah, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Meanwhile, Nanako's hospital room. I... I was always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... The only one in the world... Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Dojima-san... Was he seriously gonna... His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. <sighs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <sighs> the window in the room is wide open. Right, let me let me just get the Nama Tommy choices open again so that I don't What are you doing? I... I was scared, so... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako Johns... I... I didn't... I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, is it this? I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. Fuck you, you were the worst. You're the worst boss fight in existence. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No, come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? 
Kanji. <laughs> Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... Wha what's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Wait a second here. Huh? We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Namatami's true feelings. But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! What didn't you understand? Something's bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? We're missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Calm the hell down. Yell to everyone to calm down. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan, and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Everyone took a deep breath. It seems that everyone has finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. 
How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Let's just think for now. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. Alright, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. Case has taken a sharp turn and the investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. Max, perfect. Vow our time, I am Vow. Vow has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon V the ability to create Loki, the ultimate form of the Fool Arcana. The Investigation Team Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Investigation Team Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has reached its maximum. Non misunderstood has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Fool Social Link, you can now fuse Loki, the shapeshifter. What's this one? Judgment. Vow our tie and I am Vow. Vow has established a new bond. It brings V closer to the truth. Vow has been blessed when creating Personas of the Judgment Arcana. That's the, same as, that's the same as Persona 3, where you max out one, and then you get this one, and you max this out in the final dungeon. You've established the Seekers of Truth social link of the Judgment Arcana. You may earn an EXP bonus when fusing Personas of the Judgment Arcana. Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So, he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. 
No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh, I don't really get any of this. Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Th that's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys, Sensei, what should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still... Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god... I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> Come on. Stop crying, you two. You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <gasps> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Nanako is fighting hard to survive. You must wait and believe that she will recover. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, man. I forgot to tell you. Don't pull that again, okay? You can't just meet with the suspect like that. Anyway, I came to give you an update on Dojima-san. His wounds opened up a little, but he's treated now, and he's fast asleep. Thank you. He'll be all right. Don't worry. Knowing him, by this time tomorrow, he'll be on his feet and yelling at people again. Uh, don't tell him I said that. 
Anyway, I heard Nanako-chan's on the road to recovery again. You guys were being so dramatic that I got really worried. But this is good news. She'll be well again in no time. By the way, you're all alone at the house now, right? Well, enjoy your freedom while you can. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan will be back soon after all. You sense Adachi's concern for you. Rank 8. The Toru Adachi social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the Jester Arcana has grown. Well, I better head back. You go home too, before it gets too late. Uh, see ya. See you, Adachi. I couldn't save. I couldn't save. Oh, Mayumi, and that girl too, I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. Back in Namatami's room, was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? For now, you have no way of knowing. You remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were at the hospital. Oh boy. There's something new in your inbox. It's Yumi. Where are you right now? If you want to talk about your cousin, please don't think twice about calling me. I'll be waiting for you call me back. You checked all your messages, they're from your friends in town. You remember that you have friends who are out there to help encourage each other. The case is still mired in an impenetrable fog, but you must continue forth towards the truth. You should go home before you catch a cold. Watch you, watch you, watch you. Alright, I think this is a good place to stop, because the, uh, yeah, the story is just going to keep going and going at this point. Can I go outside? You feel very tired, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the story's just going to keep kicking off, and I need to get some food and do some real-world stuff for a bit. So we'll stop here for a couple hours, and then we'll continue. So if you're watching, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Hopefully I'll see you then. See you later.